When things go bad, something good always comes of it. When things go wrong, you have to see the bright side of it. When you lose a deal, you need to say, great. If you lost a job, you need to say, great. If something really bad happens, you need to say to yourself, great. And you need to recognize where the opportunity is. Every single failure is a step towards success. Every time you lose something, you're gaining so much more than what you lost if you look at it the right way. For example, when you lose a deal, you don't just lose that deal, you gain future time back that you do not have to spend on that deal anymore, that you can spend in a more positive way to build even more deals. Every time I lose a deal, I think to myself, thank God I can use that future time I just got back to go get five more deals. Every single time. I just had a seller call me that I had a property listed with it's been listed for about two months and they called me and said, hey, we need to take it off the market. We sold it to our next door neighbor. And you know what I said? I said, congratulations. That is great. That is incredible. And I was genuinely happy for them that they made that sale and did not have to pay me a commission. They saved that money. I congratulated them. Now what's gonna happen? Next time they need to do a deal, what are they gonna remember about me? Next time they need an agent, who are they gonna think about? Are they gonna think about me because I didn't make them feel bad for cutting me out of the deal? Exactly, they're gonna call me up and say, Ricky, our sister needs an agent. We need an agent. My brother needs an agent. My dad needs an agent. They're gonna refer us to every single person they know, why? because they know that you are not interested in just the money. You're more concerned with their well-being. You're more concerned with what's best for them, not what is in your best interest, but what is in their best interest. I want you to understand something right now. I want you to understand that you're not at war with anything in the world except for your own mind. You're only at war with yourself. You're not at war with the market, you're not at war with buyers, with sellers, with other agents, with companies, technology. You're not at war with anyone but you. You have to step up, you have to stand up and say, it's my time. I'm gonna put in the effort to do what I need to do to get where I wanna be. I'm not gonna let anything get in the way. I'm gonna outwork every single person. I don't care who has what, who's selling this, who's selling that, who's on top, who's on bottom. I don't care who you are, you're not gonna outwork me. That's what you need to tell yourself every single morning when you wake up. No one is gonna outwork me. I'm gonna get up earlier, I'm gonna work harder, I'm gonna stay later, I'm gonna work smarter, I'm gonna outwork, I'm gonna outsmart every single person out there. And if I don't succeed today, I'm gonna succeed tomorrow. Why? Because I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna continue moving forward. I'm gonna keep walking in that direction. I'm not gonna stop where I'm at. I'm gonna keep walking forward. I'm not gonna go backwards. I'm definitely not gonna go back where I came from. I'm definitely not gonna stay where I am. I'm going this way and nothing, nothing is gonna stop me. I had a new agent reach out to me here lately and he said, Ricky, I need your help. What do I tell my wife? We're, we're working you know, night and day trying to build our dream and nothing's really happening. We don't really have anything in the pipeline. There's no real results to speak of. What do I tell my wife who is sitting here telling me, should we keep pushing forward here or should we give up? And what I did was I answered his question with the question and I asked him, well, let me ask you something. How are you paying your bills? What income do you have right now? Are your bills taken care of? And he said, Ricky, we're house hacking. We have a little, little house. We're living in the downstairs. It's 850 square foot. We're renting the upstairs out and all our bills are completely paid. And I said, well, ask her what her problem is. What's the real issue going on here? Because it sounds like you got it going on because you're working towards your dream, you're working to build your dream, and all your bills are paid for, you don't have anything to worry about, what's the problem? And he said, well, 
You know, she wants a bigger house. She doesn't want to live in 850 square foot forever. And I said, dude, you're building your dream. If you keep doing the things that you're doing today, you're going to be making hundreds of thousands of dollars in the very near future. Do you understand this? I said, what you need to do is you need to go to your wife and you need to say, look, honey, we need to be extremely grateful for where we are in life. There are people that have far less than 850 square foot to live. And what we need to do is we need to be incredibly grateful and happy about where we are right now, knowing that we're doing what we need to do to build our dream to get where we want to be. And what we really need to do is an enjoy this moment. We need to enjoy this moment because we're gonna look back in a couple years when we're making several hundred thousands a year and that we've upgraded to a really big, nice house. We're gonna look back on these days and say, man, I wish we would have enjoyed these days more. Those were the good old days when we were building our dream. That was the fun part, but if you, if you just want what the next step is if you just want a bigger house all the time when you do finally get that bigger house you're gonna be unhappy there you're gonna say I want an even bigger house this is why I talk about do not focus on the results only be satisfied with your actions don't be upset about what house you're living in what car you don't have you know what clothes you're don't worry about the materials in life Worry about how much effort you're putting in to put yourself in position where later you have the option to buy those cars that you want, to buy those houses that you want, to wear those clothes that you want, if you want at that point. I'll tell you right now, I could go out and buy a house twice the size of the house I live in, but I don't. Why? Because I'm happy with where I am, knowing that I'm pushing forward to get better and better and better and better every day. I don't care what kind of house I'm living in, what kind of car I'm driving. All I got is a Ford F-150. I don't have a Maserati. I don't have a, a Lamborghini. I don't have any of that stuff, and I could care less about it. The only thing I care about is the fact that I'm going to make this video for you, and hopefully you get it in your skull that you got to be happy with where you are knowing that you're putting the effort in every day to take your life to another level. Do not, do not, do not give yourself a plan B. Do not give yourself an out. You make whatever your dream is the only option and you put forth every drop of energy and effort that you have into that. Please listen to me when I say that everything is perspective. It's all how you look at it. If you're looking at it negatively right now, if you're thinking things aren't going your way, it's literally just the way that you're looking at it. You could, you could literally right now turn that around and see exactly where you are in, in, a, in an incredibly positive position. Right this second, right before your eyes, you could go from having a very bad day in a bad situation to an incredibly great day that's super productive without anything changing, just your thoughts. Now, if you're not putting in the effort that you need to to get where you want to be, then it's really hard for me to help you get where you want to go. If you're not willing to put in the work, if you're not willing to put in the, the effort necessary, then how are you going to get where you want to be? If you get anything out of this video, please take these two things. I want you to be extremely happy with where you are in life while continuing to push harder and harder and harder to get where you want to go.